a rectangular conducting loop is moved at a constant velocity to the right from a region with no magnetic field to a region with uniform magnetic field and then out into another region with no magnetic field. Which of these graphs best depicts the induced current in the wire loop as a function of time? Which of these graphs best depicts the magnetic force acting on the loop as a function of time? By the way, the opposite signs here means the opposite directions. Number one, the induced current depends on the magnetic flux change. At first, there is no flux through the loop, and then still no flux, and then the loop starts to enter the magnetic field, so the flux starts to increase to a certain amount, and then the loop will have the same magnetic flux the entire time while the in entire loop is inside. So from here to here, the flux is constant, and then the flux starts to decrease as the loop comes out. Once the loop is completely outside the magnetic field, the flux stays a constant zero. Which means this graph depicts the magnetic flux through the loop. At first it's zero, and then it's entering the field, and then the entire loop is in the field, so constant flux, and then when the loop comes out, the flux decreases. And we only have induced current when the flux changes, which means we only have induced current in this part and this part, while the loop is entering the field and while it's leaving the field. So for this part, while it's entering, the flux is increasing. That means that the original magnetic field and the induced current's magnetic field must be in the opposite direction. And then when the flux is decreasing, those two should be in the same direction which means that the current flows in one direction when the loop is entering, the current flows in another direction when the loop is exiting the magnetic field. So the answer must be either C or E. And the answer is E because while it's entering, the current is a constant. The current does not increase like this because the induced EMF is the E divided by R and uh, in this case, the induced EMF is a BLV. And these are all constants. So the induced current is a constant value when we have induced current. So the answer is uh, E. Number two, for magnetic force, that's the magnetic resistant force, we only have magnetic resistant force when the flux is changing. So, we, again, we only have magnetic resistance force for this part while the loop is entering the magnetic field and while the loop is exiting the magnetic field. And because it's a magnetic resistance force and the loop keeps moving to the right, so the magnetic resistance force has to be leftward every time. Because the magnetic resistance force goes to the left when the loop is entering and when it is exiting. And the force is a constant, not like this, because the magnetic resistance force is the in, because is caused by the induced current being inside a magnetic field, and the current is BLV over R, and every single term over here is a constant. So the magnetic force should be a constant while it's entering and while it is exiting. So the answer is D for number two.